Here are the top headlines making news at the University of Limpopo this week. U. L. Chancellor Dr. Nkosa Zana Jamini Zuma leads the spring graduation procession. Faculty of Health Sciences and Research Day showcases their research findings on critical health issues affecting the country. And the Faculty of Science and Agriculture delves into the latest advancements and innovations in the space of data, exploring its implications and applications on a global scale. In a significant collaboration, the University and SACP inaugurated Joyce Mashamba Memorial Lecture to honor her contribution to the struggle for liberation. And on matters of the heart, School of Law advises lovers to make background check before taking things to the next level. These are some of the headlines for this week at the University of Limpopo. You are watching Inside You All News. I am Itumeleng Dipela. Our top story today takes us to the brimful Umkhupu Zetiro Hall, when the University of Limpopo recently celebrated a momentous occasion during its spring graduation ceremony. A total of 600 qualifications, spanning from undergraduate to postgraduate levels, were conferred across various faculties including health sciences, humanities, management and law, and science and agriculture. The ceremony, which spanned two days, was a hive of activity as the university recognized the dedication and hard work of its undergraduate students. The achievements were praised, highlighting the commitment to academic excellence. Notably, the university also applauded the recipients of 12 doctoral degrees, acknowledging the significant contributions made through their thesis and dissertations. These postgraduate scholars were commended for conducting research that aims to address immediate real-life challenges, showcasing the university's commitment to fostering impactful academic pursuits. Presiding over this distinguished event was the University Chancellor, Dr. Nkosa Sanadlamini Zuma, who added on air of prestige to the ceremony. Congratulations to all the graduates on reaching this milestone and to the University of Lumpopo for another successful chapter in shaping the future of this bright mind. Let's cross over to Magubu Pukwani to get some sense of the occasion. Magubu, you are just outside the hall. How is the mood? Thank you. Indeed, we are here at the University of Limpopo outside the Hall, where the graduates are here. I'm so happy. With me, I am with the Sai Joni. Thank you for honoring this invitation and congratulations on your graduation. Yeah, thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, what are you, what are you graduating in today? I'm graduating under uh, BSc in uh, Physical and Mineral Sciences, double majoring in both chemistry and biochemistry. Now, how do you feel? Four years of sleepless nights and all of that, the, the crying, the happiest moments of your life. Um, it happened here at the university, I know. How do you feel today that now you are done? Uh, I'm extremely happy. I can say thank God for giving me the strength to go through those years. And also to my parents for also believing in me. Because I used to go home crying when I'm failing. Yeah. But then, today I'm here. Show them their hard work. Are, are you planning to, to further your studies though? Yes, uh, uh, I'm planning to go to uh, organic chemistry. That's my favorite module. Yes, uh, I want to go deep, as deep as I can go, and more belts. Keep making my parents proud. Thank you. That is the side show. People are so happy outside here. It's all joy. Uh, back to you in studio. I am Marco. For that was our new reporter there in her first report for Inside UL News. In other news, our next story takes us to the recent Faculty of Health Sciences the Research Day at the University, a two-day event that cast a spotlight on undergraduate and postgraduate students who showcased their research findings on critical health issues affecting the country, along with proposing amicable solutions. Themed sustainable health and well-being, a multidisciplinary and integrated approach to attain sustainable development goals by 2030, this collaborative effort sought to address pressing health challenges, demonstrated the commitment of these students to contribute positively to the well-being of the nation. 
The event not only provided a platform for knowledge exchange, but also fostered a sense of responsibility among the participants. As the event concluded on its second day, a gala dinner served as a moment to acknowledge and award the dedicated participants who actively contributed to the program. The gala not only celebrated their academic achievements, but also highlighted the importance of their research in making meaningful strides towards a healthier society. Continuing on the academic front, the Faculty of Science and Agriculture recently held its 13th Research Day, focusing on the vital theme of global trends in data sharing and application. The event provided a platform for scholars and researchers to delve into the latest advancements and innovations in the realm of data, exploring its implications and applications on a global scale. Throughout the day, experts and participants engage in discussions and presentations shedding light on emerging trends that are shaping the landscape of data sharing and application across various scientific and agricultural domains. The event served as a hub for knowledge exchange, fostering a collaborative spirit among attenders. The faculty recognizes that as policies and practices navigate the complexities of the ever-evolving world, initiatives like this underscore the importance of staying at the forefront of cutting-edge research. We are going for a short break. When we return, we pay tribute to the longest serving member of the Limpopo Executive Council. Stay with us. Welcome back. You are still watching Inside You All News. In a significant collaboration, the University of Limpopo, in partnership with the South African Communist Party, SACP, has inaugurated the annual memorial lecture in honor of the late struggle stalwart Mama Joyce Mashamba. Mama Mashamba, who was the longest serving member of the Limpopo Executive Council, passed away at the age of 67 after battling a prolonged illness. Described as an accomplished political commissioner and educator, Mama Joyce Mashamba made personal sacrifices for the liberation struggle, serving under the African National Congress and its Women's League and the South African Communist Party. At the time of her death, she held the position of Limpopo MEC for Agriculture and Rural Development, one of the many portfolios she had undertaken over the years, including education, sport, arts and culture, safety, security and relation, and social development. Before her illustrious political career, Mama Mashamba was an assistant librarian at the then University of the North, now known as the University of Lumpopo, where her husband George served as a philosophy lecturer. The university's campus, then known Teflub, played a pivotal role in student anti-apartheid politics during that period, particularly in the Black Consciousness Movement. Mama Mashamba was also a founding member of the Mankwin Civic Association and served on its first executive committee. Notably, she faced adversity and was arrested in 1976 for organizing political events. Following her release in 1982 and between pursuing her studies and continuing with political work, she returned to the University of Limpopo as an assistant registrar in the financial aid office from 1991 to 1994. The annual memorial lecture serves as a tribute to Mama Joyce Mashamba's legacy, commemorating her tireless dedication to the struggle for freedom and equality. Let's take a break. When we return, we are switching guests to matters of the heart. How long is it enough to know that you are about to date the right person? Stay tuned.
Thank you for staying with us. As promised, we are switching guests to Matters of the Heart, a question many ponder. How long is enough to know that you are about to date the right person? The School of Law recently took a proactive step in addressing this concern by hosting an event on anti-human trafficking awareness. The event aimed to enlighten individuals seeking romantic relations, emphasizing the importance of conducting background checks to truly understand who you will be entering into a relationship with. In a world where personal safety is paramount, the School of Law advocates for a cautious approach to romantic relationships. The event likely covered essential aspects of understanding the background of potential partners to ensure a safe and secure dating experience. In an era where online interactions and dating have become increasingly prevalent, this emphasizes on awareness and due diligence is particularly timely. Here's the report. Jacqueline Malibana, who is a social worker at the University of Limpopo, also mentioned that background check is very essential and important when it comes to being in a romantic uh, relationship with anybody because there are people who are psychologically and mentally uh, disturbed or have these kind of disorders. However, these people, if ever they commit any kind of crime or abuse to anybody, they will not be uh, convicted because they are not in their right position of mind. Hashtag together we can do more. Hashtag my body is not your crime scene. And this was the last report for this week's edition of Inside You All News. Until we meet again next week, stay safe, take care and have a wonderful week. From me, Khadimitsepo, and the rest of the team, thank you for joining us.